Are you a fan of football and the Premier League? Well, if so, the league starts this Friday coming. So I have got a Premier League Fantasy League going on and also a Super Brew score prediction competition. So I want to see if you can beat me. But first, let's check out the team I have got starting the season and if they'll do any good. Now, if you do want to enter these competitions, they are in the description down below or they are in the Discord server in the Fancy and Prediction competition channel. But first, let's have a look. So, uh, for the first week, I have gone for Jordan Pickford in goal. He's a reasonable priced goalie. Their first game is against Fulham. And I think, actually, he's going to have to work his backside off. Because Fulham, if they play like they did last year, they come out with a lot of fight. People like Mitrovic up front. If, if Pickford can possibly pick up a fair few points here. But we are really packing the midfield, I think, in this. In defence, we've gone for Alexander-Arnold. He is a player that attacks down the wing and creates plenty of chances. And therefore, he may get points for uh, clean sheets, but also some assists. That's the big thing with a player like that. And actually, it's very similar to Luke Shaw, who we've also got in defence. Luke Shaw plays on the left side for Man United. They're against Wolves' first game. Um, I think there's plenty of chances he can possibly create running and attacking down that left wing. So those are really two key players. Then uh, we've got, it was how to pronounce it, Estupinan. Estupinan uh, for Brighton. Brighton are playing Luton. Luton are not likely to stay up. I, I really cannot see them staying up. Um, and so, are Luton going to score against Brighton? Probably not. I, I can't see Luton being that aggressive towards Brighton. Brighton played fantastic football last year and I expect them to continue. Uh, at the moment, they've, they've kept Consado. Um, so they've got plenty of firepower. I just cannot see Brighton even letting a goal in against Luton. So that is my back three at the moment. Now, my four in midfield, it's slightly changed. I was originally going to play five in midfield. However, Mbem Memo, Mbe however you pronounce it, uh, he is not looking likely to play. So I've changed it to Bruno Fernandes in midfield for Man United and Rashford as well. They're playing Wolves and I think Man United are going to have a pretty good season this year. Rashford scores goals, Fernandez scores goals, but they also get those assists. So I really do think they will be strong, strong players sitting in the midfield there. Then over to Saka. Saka, they're playing Forest. I think Forest will be much better this year. But Arsenal should be challenging for the title again this year. They've reinforced with players like Declan Rice. Timber's looking good as well. Um, and I think Saka, he had a bit of a lull at the end of last season. Uh, you know, June sort of time. Saka didn't really perform that well. But a new start. They've just gone from winning the Charity Shield. Community, community Shield, they call it these days. I think Saka should once again be a big influence in that midfield and the attack for Arsenal. Then another one from Brighton, uh, Ensico, en Ensiso, Enkiso. These are really difficult names to pronounce for Brighton, isn't it? Um, he's sitting in midfield there. Once again, he should fairly control the midfield. They're against Luton, who I don't think stand any chance. Then up front, uh, Haaland. You, you just cannot pick Haaland, can you? Um, you really cannot pick Haaland because he is sensational. For game week one, they're playing Burnley, who have just got promoted. I've actually got uh, Haaland as a triple captain, so he should get triple points for anything he gets this week. I think he'll do all right, fingers crossed. He didn't perform that well in the Charity Shield, but I think when the season starts, he'll be ready to go. Then Mitrovic. Mitrovic for Fulham. He does bang him in, doesn't he? he? He always does pretty well. I think last year he finished with 107 points. I think he's just a steady striker. He's not overly priced. Um, you know, there's other strikers that are quite expensive. For example, Harry Kane. And I don't think you need to spend that sort of money and you can get Mitch Fitch. Now, I've got Vinicius as well up front. He's sort of replacing Mbem 
Bemo, <laughs> uh, who I would have had in midfield. Uh, Vinicius hopefully work alongside Mitrovic. And that's my team. Ariola on the bench, Bell on the bench, Henry on the bench. Those are players that I don't really, they're just cheap players that are fillers really. But I think that's a fairly strong team to start for the first week. Looking at the opposition they're playing against, um, you know, Everton are playing Fulham and that's why I've got Pickford in goal because I think he's got to work his ass off. He does okay. He'll make some saves and gets a few points. Um, Man United are playing against Wolves who Wolves are okay. They're okay but I think Man United will come out firing. Um, obviously Brighton against Luton. I don't think Luton stand a chance. Um, Haaland, Haaland against Burnley. Um, I think he should bang a few in you well, he should bang at least one or two in surely um and then obviously Mitrovic and Vinicius for Fulham who are playing against Everton who I <sighs> Everton are a funny one aren't they I don't know I don't know how they will do this year but Fulham mid-table at least they should do okay Let's get some score predictions done now over on the Super Brew competition. We start on Friday the 11th of August. And I think the first week of the Premier League is, well, it's going to be difficult to predict. Players are coming back um, to proper competition. Friendlies are all done. It may be a little bit of a wild card at the moment, but let's give it our shots now. So, Turf Moor, we've got Burnley versus Manchester City. There is only one team, surely. Uh, Man City, a fact that I we've, we found out, only once since 2011 has a team won the Charity Shield and then gone on to win the Premier League. And three years in a row, Man City have lost the Charity Shield and won the Premier League. So there's a little fact for you. That was an interesting one. Uh, let's do it. So I think let's go Burnley nil because I don't think they're going to score. And then we're going to have Manchester City three. I think that's a fair result. I don't think Burnley are normally a team that defends well. They were under obviously Sean Dyche before last time they were in the Prem. Now they've got Vincent Company in charge and I think he will do similar sort of tactics, try and defend, but I don't think it's going to be enough to stop Man City and the Haaland machine. Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest over at the Emirates. Uh, I, I, so I, I, I do fancy Nottingham Forest win, uh, scoring a goal. I, I'm going to go with a 2-1. I'm going to go, I, I still think Arsenal will win. But I think Forrest, uh, they, were, they may be on a high from staying up last year. Arsenal will be on a high from winning the Charity Shield uh, this weekend, just gone. A 2-1. I, I don't think it's going to be blowing them out of the water. And I don't know why. Might be wrong. But I think Forrest will put up a little bit of a fight. Then Vitality over in Bournemouth. Uh, Bournemouth versus West Ham. West Ham still haven't bought anyone. They've got rid of Declan Rice, for example, and they still haven't bought anyone. So is that really going to affect their team? I don't know. Bournemouth, they're at home, but they didn't do very well last year. However, um, under new management this year, let's go a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go for a draw at the first game of the season at Bournemouth. I, this is one I really don't know. You know, West Ham did not perform well in the league last year, but they did do well in the Europa Conference League. Bournemouth just about stayed up, but new management in control. So maybe that will give them a little bit of life and a change of, of momentum. Uh, they will definitely be playing more attacking football. So an interesting one. Then Amex Stadium, Brighton versus Luton. I'm going to say a 3-0. I, I, Luton, I, look, a wonderful story of Luton getting to the Premier League, um, promotion after promotion, but the Premier League is a different ball game. Brighton played really, really well last year, and I can only see them winning. So a 3 0 to Brighton. Then Goodison Park, Everton versus Fulham. I can't see Everton winning. I think they'll score. I'm going to go with a 2 1 to Fulham. Fulham um, played pretty well last season. Everton scraped, scraped.
scraped out of the relegation zone uh, with with obviously Saints, Leicester and and Leeds going down. And I just don't see Everton performing very well this year either. And Fulham should be at least a mid-table team this year. Then Bramall Lane, Sheffield United just got promoted. Crystal Palace um, just lost their talisman in Wilfred Zahar. Wilfred Zahar's just gone over to Saudi Arabia for the money. Um, so, yeah. Um, Sheffield United got the energy. They just got promoted. Crystal Palace, mid-table, but lost Wilf, Wilf Zahar. I'm going to go for a surprise win. I'm going to go for a, a 2-1 to Sheffield United. I think the energy of getting promoted is going to outdo Crystal Palace who have lost Wolf. Then Newcastle versus Aston Villa. Newcastle very much overperformed last year, right? They didn't actually sign players that were world beaters, but they got into the Champions League spot and I don't think they're going to do the same this year. Annoyingly, they've just signed Tino Livramento from my Southampton team. I'm a little bit annoyed about the fact that Tino Livramento was injured for pretty much all of last season and didn't have the res- now if this is was mainly him making the move um, then I'm a little bit disappointed that he didn't have the respect for Saints if it's Saints making you know happily happily selling him then okay um, so no disrespect on Livramento Aston Villa did really really well at the end of last season um it's a tough one, but it's at St. James's Park there at home. Let's go 2-1. 2-1 to Newcastle. Then at the GTEC Stadium, uh, Brentford versus Tottenham. Will Harry Kane still be a Tottenham player uh, for the first first game? Probably. I, 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 the whole rumours of Harry Kane going to Bayern Munich. Will he go to Bayern Munich? Yes, he's basically guaranteed to win the league over in Germany and he will do well over there. But the records, he's at records that he's going to break over here in the Premier League. What's he want? Does he want the personal achievements or does he want the the silverware of winning leagues? I don't know. But uh, I can't. Brentford do okay. I'm going to go, but I'm going to go 3-1 to Spurs, I think. Then Stamford Bridge, Chelsea versus Liverpool. Are Chelsea going to do better this year? Surely they're going to do well this year. However, they made some strange signings um, or or transfers out, should I say. Players like Kovacic going to Man City, I think is a very, very strange uh, sale for them to make. And I can only see Liverpool improve. I I think both teams will improve. But I think Liverpool will improve more this year or, or perform better. So, I'm going to go with a 2-0 to Liverpool. Oh, cheating Salah. F- oh, I hate Salah. Mo, Mo Salah is such a cheater. Um, but he'll probably fall over and get a penalty or something and win the game. Then, Man United versus Wolves. It's at Old Trafford. Man United should start. I think they are another team that will compete as well. I think it's going to be a lot harder for Man City to win the league comfortably this year. I know Arsenal ran them close, but they massively faded at the end. Um, I think it's going to be a Man United win. I'm going to go 2-0 to Man United. And that are that's my pick. So, Burnley 0, Man City 3. Uh, Arsenal 2, Forest 1, Bournemouth 1, West Ham 1, Brighton 3, Luton 0. Everton 1, Fulham 2, Sheffield United 2, Crystal Palace 1, Newcastle 2, Aston Villa 1, Brentford 1, Tottenham 3, Chelsea 0, Liverpool 2, and Man United 2, Wolves 0. Well, if you'd like to see this as a weekly discussion, a weekly video where we check out the previous week and what my team is for the following week and how everyone is doing in the league, please let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to do that. Uh, You've got to get entering though. You've got to get entering. You've got less than a week to get your teams in. I want it on this Premier League site and I want it on the Super Bowl and we can have some good fun on that. So in the description down below, get entering and see if you can beat me. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, do all the other stuff as well. And I will catch you next time.